Today we will reflect on the experience of hope and the mechanics of building hope. We will be asking together, what have I done in the past to experience the calm that has come from hope? Let us breathe to help our bodies calm while we use curiosity to help our minds discover. Breathe slowly with me. In, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five. And again, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, five. Hope is essential nourishment for our spirits. With hope, we are able to endure in difficulty and flourish in ease. Hope is based in our ability to imagine a fulfilling future story about our life. We have hope in the present when we can define what that satisfying future might reasonably be. When pieces of our future story change or are lost, we can feel a loss of hope. Hope can be revived by reconstructing the foundation and the building blocks of a new future story. As we recall the cornerstones that anchor our future story, we reestablish our hope. As we place down new details of our future story, we strengthen hope. Expanding hope often is accompanied by inner calm. So what are the cornerstones of your future story? of your hope? Is faith a cornerstone or perhaps a commitment to your work? Do family or loving friends ground your story? How central is your ability to create or your capacity to be in nature? And what are some of the building blocks of your future story, of your hope? Do you imagine sharing gratitude or daily prayer or the renewal that comes from silence? Will you design time to learn or retreat or play? Do you envision strength in your body or acceptance of your emotions? Building the story that shapes our hope is an ever unfolding process so we can be patient. We can find our calm. Thank you.